I'm going to press spindle clockwise to start my spindle. I'm now going to move my tooling in with the MPG hand wheel and face the part. And I just want to take a very small amount off the end. Progressing in slowly. Once I have faced the part, I back off, never changing the Z-axis, always along the X. Press spindle stop once you have done, once you are done facing. From this point, I'm now going to enter my workpiece coordinates for the Z values. My workpiece coordinate for Z, I'm going to press MDI in the program state window. I'm going to enter G. 50 Z 0 data input cycle start I now press the offset key this brings me to the tool offset and wear window I make sure that tool 1 is selected I can use my up and down arrows and I'm going to enter Z 0 data input that sets my Z tool offset to zero for tool one. We're now going to go through the same process and do a light turning pass. So I go back to program con or program state, use MPG hand wheel, start my spindle, and I'm going to progress inward and take a very light pass on the material. And I'm going to turn probably about a half inch or so. When I exit the tool, I'm going to exit only on the x-axis. Press spindle stop. I'm now going to use the micrometer to take a measurement on the part. Try not to block the camera too much here. So I'm going to measure that turned area that I just faked, that I just spun. And I'm going to write this measurement down. So I, am, I measured this at a current diameter of 0.9977. On the controller, in the program state window, I'm going to press MDI and enter my workpiece coordinate, G50, X.9977. Data input, cycle start. I've just entered my workpiece coordinate for tool one. I press offset again to tool offset and where. Tool one selected, I enter X. 0.9977 data input. So tool one is now totally taken care of. I'm now going to set up my second cutting tool and this process ends up being tool number four. So I'll quickly use my MPG hand, hand wheel to move my tool carousel further away from my part to do a safe tool change and I press the tool change button until I get to tool number four, which is the cutoff tool. I'm going to stay in the tool offset and wear window now. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, setting the offset for tool four by using the MPG hand wheel. And I'm going to use a half inch gauge block. I'm going to come in along my z-axis and I want to be able to just slip this half inch gauge block between the face of the part and the edge of the cutter. 
and I can move it one one thousandth at a time until I can just slip it in there. Once I can just fit that half inch gauge block in, I come back to my tool offset and wear window, use my down arrows to highlight tool number four, and I en now enter Z.5 because it's a half inch away from zero. Data input. The next step is for me to set my X offset. For this, I'm going to use a thin half inch thickness gauge. Once again, using the MPG hand wheel to position my cutter. The light is hot, so you may want to move it away from your hands. What I want to be able to do, I'm going to position the cutter in front of the area I just turned. I'm going to just outside of the stock. And now moving along the x-axis, I'm going to approach the part slowly, moving this thickness gauge. And I want to bring my cutter in a thousandth at a time until I can just pull the thickness gauge past the part, but cannot press it back through. So right about there. I'm now one one thousandth away from the part. If you remember from our previous operations, that thickness there is 0.9977. So I add one one thousandth of an inch. And for tool number four offset, I enter X.9987. One one thousandth larger than before. Data input. I have now gone ahead and set this machine up completely. I'm ready to go ahead and run. Before I start a run, I like to move my tool clear of the part just to be on the safe side I'm going to press the program button and now I'm in program content you should see lathe part 2 highlighted I'll move the camera so you can see the last thing I'm going to do on my controller is press auto close my machine door and press cycle start to begin the run of the part. If at any time you encounter a problem, press the e-stop button, which is the red button on the controller. Notice I am leaving my hand on that button in case there's an emergency. Now the program is done. Wait for all motion to cease before reaching inside of this machine. It will be wet. As you can see, lots of cutting fluid. You can see, here's our finished part. Got a nice clean finish on it. And if we programmed it correctly, should look exactly like our drawing. Now notice there is a small end here left by the cut tool. We could go ahead and stick this in our manual lathe and face that clean off. 